Greetings, friends. Welcome to CTUCC Conference Cast for August 2nd, 2012, the regular podcast of the Connecticut Conference of the United Church of Christ. Whoever you are, and wherever you may be on life's journey at this very moment, you are welcome here. We begin this week's conference cast with this meditation from Cecile Gilson, assistant to the conference minister. Cecile has been thinking this week about these words of the Apostle Paul, found in the fourth chapter of the letter to the Ephesians. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. I had the privilege of attending the opening worship of the United Black Christians Convocation that met last week in Hartford for this frozen child of New England, experiencing worship as a full-body celebration is both a joy and a challenge. The Reverend Dr. Kenneth Samuel of Victory for the World UCC in Stone Mountain, Georgia, was the preacher for the service. I knew of his reputation as a preacher, and he didn't disappoint. He shared stories, preached the gospel, and challenged us in ways that are both comfortable and uncomfortable. It was definitely an out-of-my-comfort-zone experience, and I am grateful for the challenge. With apologies to Dr. Samuel, I would like to share one of his stories, one that came to mind as I read the passage from Ephesians. Dr. Samuel's mother is a baker of cakes. Not just cakes, but great cakes, and all made from scratch. She wouldn't know what to do with a box of cake mix if you gave it to her. When she prepares to make a cake, she lays out all her ingredients before she begins mixing. As young children, Dr. Samuel and his brother would watch in great anticipation of the cake that was to come. One time their mother left the room for a bit, leaving them to ponder the ingredients lovingly laid out. When they considered how great the cake was when it was done, they decided that the individual elements must also taste good. So they dunked a finger in the egg, and it was just plain nasty. The flour, sugar, and butter weren't so hot either. How could all these unpleasant things make such a wonderful treat? Dr. Samuel went on to say that each of us, with all our flaws and gifts, come together to create the wonderful community of Christ. Individually, we are bitter and sweet. Together, we can be the whole body of Christ. Dr. Samuel also shared that when his mother came back, she knew immediately what they had done and sent them packing. How good it is to be part of a community of believers. In our worship and ministry, we celebrate and practice the life and ministry of Jesus. How much better our world would be if we could all work together to make delicious cakes. Here is a prayer for this week. Creator God, we celebrate the wonderful diversity that is our world. We give you thanks for our churches and ask for your blessing in our ministries. Amen. In the news this week, as Cecile mentioned, Over 50 members of United Black Christians of the UCC came to Hartford last week for their 20th convocation. UBC President Carol Brown underscored the gathering's theme, telling the assembly at Faith Congregational Church UCC, if we remember the past, we will learn the lesson that the Spirit has never failed us, lest we forget. The convocation featured great speakers and preachers of the church, including General Minister and President, the Reverend Joffrey Black, Victory of the World UCC's the Reverend Dr. Kenneth Samuel, and Liberty Christian Center of Hartford's own, the Reverend Tamara Moreland, who challenged the congregation to cry out against injustice. One of her hearers, the Reverend Imani Jones of Shaker Heights, Ohio, said of her sermon, 
I am proud to be a member of the UCC today. This event has been inspiring and affirming as both an African American and as a woman. It is encouraging to see so many powerful African American women in leadership roles within the UCC and the UBC. Those who listened to last week's conference cast know that I recorded some voices from Silver Lake while I was serving as chaplain there. What you may not have realized is that the wisdom of those conferees formed the morning's message for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Words of grace about friends, the created world around them, and the places they'd found God. Here are just a few more of last week's Words of Grace. I found God when we were all working together to row the canoes at the waterfront. (laughs) I saw God in the sun glinting on the waves of the lake from a canoe. Today when I was swimming, I was having a lot of fun. The place that I felt that God was with me was when I was at the volleyball court because I thought that I couldn't get the ball over the net, but then I could. I was kind of feeling like kind of downish, sad, and when I looked in her eyes, I kind of felt found God, and she went to me, up to me, and she was like, she was like, oh, Tiara, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Yeah. I, I well, for my interest group today, I went on a nature walk, and um, I guess I felt God in the trees and in the ground and some of the rocks and stuff. We found God when we were at the waterfront today because a lot of people went canoeing, but we stayed at the waterfront and we were just laying on the docks and it was like really sunny and it was really nice and peaceful being just us and like a few other people and it was really cool. I think we grew closer too, like just like the certain three of us. So we were all like together because everybody went canoeing. Basically, we found our search for amazing peace. (laughs) I found God when we were all practicing for worship today. Our conference, putting an order to worship and finding their own voice with some music that arrived on a CD. And it reminded me why I'm here. It is that grace-filled gift when I've listened to youth putting it all together and dialed right in on uh, with their hearts. Last May, Most churches may have generated some extra energy for Pentecost worship, but that Sunday probably would have looked pretty familiar to most. For members of Iglesia Manancial de Gracia in New Britain, however, Pentecost meant rising early, gathering into carpools, and driving to worship with members of Lakeview Congregational Church UCC in Worcester, Massachusetts, for a special service that celebrated the new covenant between them as sister churches. Among the day's surprises was the appearance of members of a third congregation, Iglesia Hispania de la Comunidad of Lowell, Massachusetts. As the day's preacher, Elevette Mendez Angulo, writes, How beautiful to see how congregations from different states, with different pastors, different languages, and different worship styles, are united by God's language of grace and love. Find out more about these stories, about a new faithful tax policy resource prepared by Bread for the World, and all the news of the week at ctucc.org slash news. The first materials for the fall session of the Connecticut Conference Annual Meeting are online, so everybody get ready to go big. The Rev. J. Bennett Guess, Executive for Local Church Ministries of the United Church of Christ, will kick off the meeting with his keynote address. The day will include the business of the conference, as well as inspiring music, enlightening worship, and empowering learning experiences. The fall session will be held at Middletown High School on October 20th. Learn more at ctucc.org slash annual meeting. Praxis 21. The Center for Progressive Renewal's National Church Leadership Institute runs August 8th through 10th in Decatur, Georgia. 
Learn about offering a spiritual care to a returning veteran on August 17th in West Haven. And join in praying for those returning to school this fall on August 25th in New Britain. As fall begins, learn about strategic planning for congregations in West Hartford September 11th through 13th. The Thinking About Working for God Congregational Retreat is September 22nd at Silver Lake. And that same day, Ripples in the Water, Building an Open and Affirming Movement, will be held in North Haven. CT Women of the UCC hold their first fall retreat in Mystic on September 29th. Registration is open for General Association, the Connecticut Conference's annual gathering of authorized ministers, church musicians, and Christian educators, which will be held at Silver Lake Conference Center on September 23rd and run through September 25th. Bishop Yvette Flunder, the pastor of City of Refuge in San Francisco, is the keynote speaker. Also on the program, Interim Conference Minister Chuck Wildman, the General Association Banquet, and there will even be time to climb the trees in the High Ropes Challenge course. Find out more and register at ctucc.org slash g-e-n-l-a-s-s-n. And you can always learn about what's coming up in the Connecticut Conference at ctucc.org slash events. And that brings this conference cast to a close. Thanks to Cecile Gilson for her reflection and to GarageBand for our music. Primary funding for Conference Cast comes from your congregation's gifts to our church's wider mission, Basic Support, changing lives through the United Church of Christ. This is Eric Anderson, the Minister of Communications and Technology for the Connecticut Conference of the United Church of Christ, praying that your days this week may be filled with the presence, the guidance, and the grace of God. This is Eric Anderson again. It's time for me to take some time off, and so Conference Cast will be on vacation too for the next two weeks. Listen and look for both of us on Thursday, August 23rd. And may God bless you from now until then and every day beyond.